All right, we're good. What's up, guys? Good morning. Morning. Welcome back to day two of the Majestics Open Series 1K for uh, 2019 in December. Top eight. Top eight, baby. Woo! We got some interesting teams. So we have just uh, just to recap for those who are just tuning in. First seed is Robert, Robert Gallagher. Gallagher. He's playing the Robot Constructs team, and that's actually uh, something he played at the trial. Uh, just exact, to, just real quick. Exact same. Team. Five out of the eight players here are uh, trial winners. So that tells you the importance of getting that first round by with full points. Yeah. Um, so Rob's playing a green battery with the constructs, constructs. Like the, the X-Men constructs. Yeah. Plus uh, Tricentil and Isaac. Steve, second seed with Quinjet Avengers. His, his baby. He's been playing forever. Uh, or since the beginning of our so format. Format, yeah. He's <clears throat> been rocking and Quinjet. And Wes, Wes Betchart's playing a Jakeem Jesse. Return of uh, 2017. <laughs> yeah, and again, he's playing the same team that he played, he played in the trials. The trial. Yep. So these guys are all playing the same team for the trial. Uh, Jonathan Murray is playing a similar team to Ro Rob, except for he's playing uh, Ultron Drone instead of Sabretooth. Sabretooth. And he's playing Star Sapphire Battery. Different constructs and ID cards, because uh, Rob has no IDs. Yes. So they're actually functionally different uh, because of the IDs. Makes a huge uh, difference, yeah. Matt Esbrook is playing his Juggernaut. Uh, Magneto Indigo team. That yeah, he, Brotherhood Mutants team. team yep, yeah. that he won the uh, trial in uh, Arizona. Yes, that team is tough to take down. Yep, and David Colon with, and so the matchup right now that we're showing is the Matt versus Jonathan. Yes, that'll be our first we, featured yeah, match because we haven't seen that yet, or we at least haven't seen Matt's team. David, David Colon, Mr. Clixo, is playing uh, Unihawk. Mm -hmm. That's his baby. He always plays. He also won the trial the previous season. Yes. So he's playing that again. And Michael Broderick's playing his baby, the Dice Manipulation team. Instead of Panther this time, it's Wendigo. And uh, the last but not least, it's Tony Rodriguez. With WWE. WWE Mystical. That's Finn Balor, Undertaker. He has been tombstoning yeah. people all yeah. weekend. <laughs> um, just to note, uh, Tony plays pretty aggressive. Uh, yes. His team, his team is aggressive because it could deal out a lot of damage. He actually has the most points out of the entire top eight. But he has the worst record. This is true. So that tells you, even when he was losing, he was still getting points, so, like a lot of points. But the, there's what almost 200 points between him and the ninth seed. Yes. So it matters. Yeah, it made a was, huge difference. He was uh, so Rob Gallagher was the only five and zero. Tony was the only three and two. The rest of them were four and one. That shows you how tough the field is. Yeah. Um, also, we had a lot of first round buys, but uh, this was well earned. I think. Uh, oh, just a quick preview of the of the event. So. Of, of the top eight. Uh, fix some Rob is playing Tony. Steve is playing Michael. Wes is playing David. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Matt's playing uh, Jonathan. Uh, the winner of this will be playing the winner of the 1-8 one, one, matchup, Rob and Tony. Tony, yes. Which would be very interesting because if Rob wins and uh, Jonathan wins, it's almost a mirror match. Yeah, that will. But... <laughs> It's different because IDs and then yeah, Rob will be yeah. taking the Mystics when right. attacking. So it, that would be interesting. Of course, that's if they he's win. not it's, it, No, that's if they <laughs> no, win. If they it's win, just yeah. you know, Tony definitely is live in this uh, in this matchup because he does have uh, Finn Balor. Just remember the Finn Balor from the starter, the uh, the one that the yeah, wrestling it's ring. the Green Arrow of a uh, WWE yes. figures. Yes, uh, very very good. Only seventy points. Um, and then I think the other cool one here is the. The three six match with Wes and David because they're both playing tent pole. Yes, but like their matchup, it's it's Jakeem versus Unimine. If you guys remember the Rock Cup yes. back in twenty seventeen, mm -hmm. the format it was, was Jakeem, Jakeem versus, versus. <laughs> uh, Unimine. So this is a throwback to twenty seventeen. You know, before the watch yeah. list and all that stuff. So hey, Jakeem shall remain supreme. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna get started soon. Yeah, so, we're gonna go back to our players. Yeah, go to players. They're doing the speech uh, for top top eight. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll right. get going. So what do you think is gonna happen here? Oh, so obviously Matt won the map, so that's huge. That is. It's huge. <laughs> So he has anybody a lot of that, blocking to destroy. And, and for people who don't know what Juggernaut does, it's the X Men animated, uh, where he when he breaks three more blocking terrain, he removes a token from himself. Self. And when he removes a token from 
when a token is removed from him other than clearing for the first time in a turn, he heals one. Combine that with Indigo Battery, having the healing after you take three or support, and you can't target. It's a very, very hard... Hard to kill. Hard to kill point denial team, because you're only getting points from Magneto. Yeah. And that's if you can even kill him. A lot yeah. of times you, you can't kill him. Um, and then the Juggernaut up top is Pulse Play protected, mm -hmm. Outwit protected. Mm -hmm. Invincible. In oh, and Invincible. So invincible. you're going to go through the, you have to go through Invincible, somehow yeah. or the other. And there's no... Uh, there's no like he's also insulated against shredders because of that. Yes, it's hard to shoot him. <laughs> and and we we're making this note. We we're making this uh, observation last night that in the in in Bronze Age, if you play a temple, it's usually uh, uh, an ID battery. I no, and this is just an ID battery, but they have range. Mm -hmm. Most if you think about it, look at Jakeem. Yeah. He's 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 shoot. a pick a power range guy. Goblin King pick a range, pick a power. Unimind, pick a power guy. Range, yeah. um, Lex is also a range guy because he has a range shot pulse wave himself and he has protection. Juggernaut is the... He bucks the trend by a zero range beat stick tent pull yes. in a format where it's a lot of range. Yeah. Where you need to play a lot of range for a tent pull. So, in a sense, Matt is the dark horse here because he's playing an unconventional team. Yeah, the... It is definitely unconventional. The uh, the That's close attacks cool. reminds me a little bit of the Hulk team that won a little while back. The close, right? <laughs> um, we don't speak about that. <clears throat> the yeah, we don't speak. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. That. yeah the, the gauntlet the, Hulk. But the uh, the indigo battery definitely protects him from being ranged against yeah. because you if you want to hit him you have to get up close to him and right, if you're up right. close to him he's gonna hurt you. Right, right. Um, so it'll be um, interesting to see what Jonathan can do against Matt. Uh, Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan against me. So Jonah. No, oh, sorry. My apologies. <laughs> so, okay, hopefully. Let me... Or not. Mm -hmm. um, roll my damage. Is that a 10? It's a 1. one. <laughs> Alright, got perplex. Um, so then Magneto goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Stands on it. That's the time jam? Time jam. Time jam. So that's on his square. Magneto er puts up a barrier here. This juggernaut putting up a barrier there and there. Maybe used to not putting it next to me. Um, and what? I think you can use yeah, try. I'm gonna remember all this stuff. It's too much for me. Um, and I think that that's it. You're going. All right. Got some tokens. Oh damn it! No, you're fine. Uh, I wasn't supposed to walk him out. I was supposed to. No, I did it right. You're right.
I'm changing the way I'm playing the game. So that's, <laughs> fine. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Alright, let's, right, let's drop my token and then power action the battery to assign the wall to Tri Sentinel. Tri Sentinel. Just the most fun I've had in Hero Clicks in a very long time. Um, perplex up his defense plus one, he's gonna sidestep. He's going to free use the wall. Go bam, bam. Put it up there. That's fine. Fire action, Isaac. To generate Lord Gaia for barrier. All right. So, just Matt won the map, and you can see he's on underground caverns, and this is really huge because Juggernaut's gonna be able to heal a lot if he ever gets damaged. Um, it's gonna be hard for TK lines for Jonathan. Uh, the Sentinels, it's good for Sentinel because he gets to run through everything. But it just means Magneto will take one, and then the Sentinel probably dies. But yeah. uh, we'll also need, so in this, this is, what I think will happen here is if Matt's very conservative, he's he might lose a Magneto. But I feel that Jonathan's going to lose a Sentinel, either a Magneto or the Ultron drone. Because the Ultron drones, those are the two, the, the two soft points. Or Tri Sentinel and Ultron Drone. Yeah. Because of that, that's 60 points. Plus whatever ID cards he calls in. Calls in. And, you know, Juggernaut is a lot of clicks. Magneto has support for him. He heals when he breaks. So it's almost like banging your head against the wall, spinning your wheels if you're trying to attack Juggernaut. One strategy Jonathan might have is just to destroy as much of the blocking as he can with the Tri Sentinel while he has yeah. it. Um, just so that when he's near. He can't play. But he, yeah, in the block, in the the hindering. You know the the. Well, it, it, there's still clear terrain on, all all around. Yeah. For Juggernaut to put the wall, he they also have the walls, so they both have walls, which is, you know, Tri Sentinel and uh, Juggernaut will be able to do their thing. Yeah. It's just that Juggernaut has invincible. So in this matchup, I think it's going to come down to, if Jonathan decides to go after Juggernaut, he's going to have to do one two punch of Green Arrow. Or Nick into a Magneto shot, yeah. and maybe a Isaac Pog. Like it has to be like a one, two, three, or one, two, just boom, boom, boom. Because if not, Juggernaut's gonna just heal all the way back up because of his his uh, trait and the fact that Magneto has support through the Indigo battery. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, I, I'm pretty sure uh, Matt told me he doesn't have. I, I need to change it. He doesn't have Brotherhood ATA. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta take that out. He actually put in a, a net instead of the Brotherhood. So sorry about that. He still has a theme team though, right? It is a theme team. So it's actually only 200 for uh, Juggernaut and 50 for Mini. Yeah. He told me that because uh, <clears throat> so this is the team that he yeah that's still correct. Yeah. This is the team that he played um, at uh, just so long. And then you said the net there, or no? That's right. Okay. Because his, his original team mm -hmm. doesn't have the net. Okay, perfect. Um, well, it, it's yeah because uh, he he was trying out the net on Friday night, and mm -hmm. I think he liked it, so he took off the the ATA because his team was basically this, but you take off the net, and there's the eight points for the ATA. Okay, nice. And he likes the uh, he was telling me he likes the fact that they have to break away. Yeah. Because you're a close range team, you want them to stay yeah, close. Yeah, exactly. The colossal or no giant reach at you. Giant reach, yeah. Um, is is helpful, but it, you know if you can keep them close, mm -hmm. it's far better. Okay, let's get back to them. I want to click. Should you be? Yeah, well, because we decided it was what first turn. Got yeah, I messed up. <laughs> Wall with Tri Sentinel. Uh, push Gaia for a KO. And he's going to drop a barrier again. Perplex up defense, Mr. Sinister, from Isaac. Go ahead. Okay. So, it's messed up. And I've never had my battery this low. I think I get what I want on the next one. So, I'm going to push to put up a barrier with the battery. Now, uh, we're going to see... <laughs> what we'll do 
I'm going to move Juggernaut and break something up so we can see a little more. I think we will. Okay, so we are going to... Juggernaut will put up his barrier first here. And then he's going to move one, two, three. No. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, back into his hole. So these get destroyed. He doesn't take a token. Oh, sorry. These get destroyed. And that's still a barrier. That's still a barrier. These are destroyed. Okay. Um, I tried to keep my barriers together. And then we push to put up a barrier. Um, yeah. Okay, I have more barriers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and so very good. Nope. Okay, and then we will clear. We still have to put up. He put up his barrier. So now Magneto is going to put up his barrier. Nope. We're going to do smoke cloud with Magneto. Just want to remember to do it. Smoke cloud. Don't swap. And then Juggernaut puts out his smoke cloud right there. And then it's your turn. Okay, I didn't want to interrupt you, but uh, Isaac should have cleared last turn and take any actions. Sure. Thank you. A lot of markers you got out there. A lot of markers. It gets, and then you're gonna destroy us too. We might not have enough, but we'll see. Hmm. All right. So, what's interesting here is Matt is actually breaking all the terrain. Uh, is he actually breaking the terrain, or are those are those just smoke clouds? But I, I think he's breaking some of the terrain because that's too many markers. Um, that looks. To be, I know this. I know one some, of the some areas, of them are walls. Some of the ones are some barriers. of them are smoke, but some of them are um, just being broken. It looks like because there should only be eight markers, correct? Mm -hmm. If you if you do the wall twice, that's four barrier markers, and if you do the smoke the net twice, that's four smoke. Yeah. So there should be only eight, but there's like twelve. Twelve, yeah. Which means he's breaking some of them so i wonder what his uh move is and i think he's just, like he did comment that you know jonathan's just gonna break him so we're gonna run out of markers kind yeah. of like gamesmanship of like yeah you come over and break it so i could kill you no. so i can get up on points yeah so it's, it seems like they're gonna gonna see who makes the first move because they're both staying back in their starting areas let's uh let's see what they're saying my eyes are super bad. I'll let you read it later. If I can find it. Who's that suggest? Judge? It might be quicker for us to ask. Is Probably. Because there's a lot of reading in that thing. Yeah. He's doing something else, I think. Because my, under my understanding of Seth Rose, which is that I've been wrong before. So, once per turn, when it is given an action to use one of these powers, an action is resolved. Okay. You know what So, if, if I were to push my power battery, can I see the result of the push and then roll for it anyway? As the push happens immediately, so yes. Okay. So, you always have to see what it is first. Yeah, okay. You always have to see yeah. Alright. Then I'm going to roll for it. One. Works for me. So, do you know what click number you're on? I'm on seven. Alright, I think we're on set. Okay. Okay, that was one action. So we're gonna pop out a bystander, do Mercaya. Sidestep with Magneto. Carrying Mr. Sinister. And Barry with Lord Gaia. Let's go one, 
two, three, four. One with Tri Sentinel. Two. Sidestep Ultron. And I'm good. I'm gonna clear the sidestepper. For nothing. Uh, perplex up defense on Ultron Drone from Isaac. And it's to you. Okay. Smoke, 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 smoke. Okay. So the Lance tokens are on Gaia and Isaac right now, right? Yes. Right. And, and, and the battery. And the battery. Movement on the Stry Sentinel's 8 plus side step? Yes, that's correct. Potentially perplex from Isaac, but I think you would have to move Isaac to do that. <clears throat> yeah, I can't, I can't get a lot of fire here. Let's figure out how far you can go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 3. 1, 2, 3. So those are the walls you can break up. Those are the walls you can break up. Um, Okay, so Magneto will put up a wall here and here. We will, so it's a six and I get to that big 11. Stretch that up. So they're both playing very conservatively. I feel like if Jonathan just ran all the way over. Kill the Magneto relatively quickly. Uh, the Juggernaut's just going to be dealing one click of damage a turn, and then at that point you can just out action him. Um, and also run away. Like and also run away. Yeah. So there's got to be something's got to give here, and one of them has to make the first move. Who do you think it's going to be, Pat? I, you know what? I think this is not, it's not a knock, but. You know, it. there is such a thing as, like, I don't know if it's starstruck or being in the spotlight or whatever, but if you're not used to uh, everybody uh, watching you or you're playing against a named player or whatever, that could throw up your game. I'm not sure if that's the case here, but I really think you're right. Uh, Jonathan has so many, like, juggernauts. And, uh, Matt's team is not known for attacking. Yeah. Hardly ever. Jonathan's team is known for attacking. He needs to run up there as fast as possible, get those five clicks of damage on Magneto, and then run away. Because Juggernaut, like you said, will be doing max one damage at a time. Yeah. If, if that. Uh, because he still needs to roll dice and hit. Exactly. And you know, all these guys are rocking 18s. So. Yeah. So, and I, I don't know what the plan is here in uh, Jonathan's side because he's just. He's just staying back, and I don't even see where the the marker, the uh, the Isaac Pog is. Because yeah. the, the one thing he can do is run the Isaac, or like the one of the Isaac Pogs, yeah. run him take shots, but to start sending Pogs out. So, but I, I don't see it across. Um, obviously, Matt is just dancing back and forth, back and forth. Uh, they're okay. gonna be, and you know, and and you know, if for those that know uh, that know Matt, he will win a staring contest. Yeah, like almost every time. Because he's 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 used to these kind of games where it's just kind of stalemate. Yeah. So this is uh going to be a very, very slow slow game. match. Um, let's pick invulnerability plus one speed with Magneto. Push Lord Gaia for a KO to barrier. Here's the same thing. 
And then drop a wall with try. Press up defense on not yet sidestep. Uh, sidestep sinister. Back here. Nah, don't need to do all that work. Press up defense on sinister. From Isaac, clear the battery, clear Isaac. Go ahead. So smoke, 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 smoke. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 3 squares away. 11, we said 11, 3 squares away, so that's right. Okay. Um, just stuck with the 4 target and the water bring them out. Trying to figure out if I want to move forward. Um, Juggernaut will move first. We got stuff we can do before we do that. So, Juggernaut. I don't like that retaliation ruling. Rumble, rumble. I did that. So, we can destroy it there. Here, you can't. So that's Juggernaut's Magneto. Master of Magnetism. Smoke coming out. Okay. Um, swap. So he will. So the, for those that don't know Matt, he's a long time player well we're talking since the beginning I met him back in 2002 when in the uh, DC World Championships oh wow in 02 or yeah whenever the first one it was 03 I think but uh, it was his 02 or 03 and uh, he's one of the top players obviously he's he's one of the four points gaming guys four point gaming guys um, if you this is just me knowing him and knowing his uh, cr veteran craftiness, savviness, whenever he makes a comment regarding that Sentinel, as you've seen, as you've heard, he says, oh, you're just going to break all the block it's blocking terrain with that Sentinel, uh, so we're, we're, we might run out of tokens. And then he made another comment, I don't like that retaliation ruling, blah, 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 when he comes over here, he gets you to do the damage. He's using that as bait gamesmanship to try to get Jonathan to come across with the Sentinel and deal the damage, do whatever he needs, and then have Juggernaut kill Sentinel. And then he'll be up 30 to 0. And then that's the game. So every now and then when you hear him say something, that's what I believe. Now, I could be wrong and he could be really afraid of it, but knowing that, that's that's a strat that's a strategy, that's a you know, I mean, I do stuff like that. When I, you know, if, if you're kind of like at a stalemate, you got to do something or say, get in their head. You know, obviously there's a mental game. So you're going to have to see if you can, uh, just like in, uh, it would be just similar to like poker. Where you have the nuts and you want them to put more money into the pot. So you're going to say something to try to goad them in. So in this case, he's just trying to say something to get, try something across the map. Um, you know, he, I could be giving too much credit, <laughs> but I, 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 that's what I believe. No, that makes sense. It looks like Jonathan has moved up a little bit with the Tri-Sentinel. It's buried um, again uh, after Esbrook burying up the Juggernaut, uh, also moving up a couple squares. So they're slowly inching towards each other. Um, it is a definitely like, a game of cat and mouse oh, we have. He's like 25 minutes in and nothing is happening. Yeah. This is this is pain. This is painful. Sorry, guys. Uh, we thought 
that showing a new team in Matt's because we we've seen all yeah. the other teams basically. And Matt's done very well this yeah. this, um, this weekend. Yeah, so. he won the last chance trial. He went four and one yesterday. He won the trial in Arizona, and he's in top eight. So we we have to show him. Yeah, and he had eight hundred and fifteen points, which isn't too shabby. Yeah, which means he actually yeah, it's better than the two fifty five that Michael Broderick had. This is true. With playing such an aggressive team, it was very interesting because he's got the the Wendigos, right? And you think yeah, you no, look, no, it's you, not an aggressive team. It's only one Wendigo. Well, you would think okay, you think the Wendigo would be. No, because he's playing him at 100 points. Yeah. And and he uses him as like a battery. No, that makes sense. All right, let's, let's I guess, go back to Matt's turn. So, so you moved up one, right? So that changes, I did. That changes this whole thing. So. So kind of blows up a bunch of stuff. So let's just say everything was broken up, you would still have to be within four of the dude to make that happen. So if I stay here, one, two, three, four, you would have to be along this line. I think that's hard. If for the I can then you brought the brought for the comments. Um Sinister has Oh and also they can't be more than five away from Ultron. So your all your Collins essentially except for Beast can only be called in by Yeah, he's on the hundred point line. Okay. And he's on the forty point line. Okay. So so but I mean the only the only ones that the only one that can't be Yes. Ultron's just, the only one that can call in except beast. for the Beast. Everyone else is all for So I just have to worry about the positioning of dude. So, um, that's a lot for me to think about. So, uh, let's see. So you have to be able to TK up Ultron. Then Ultron has sidestep? He does. Okay. And it's just within the range of people. You don't have sniper. So your range on your TK is seven? Uh, yeah, seven. Okay, there. and you can move six. With, so, okay. so he has sidestep as well. So sidestep to here. And it's gonna be that's gonna be challenging, I think. I think I might be being too cautious. Um at least for one turn. But whenever I get bold, I make mistakes. Um and I talk a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, so we will go ahead and maybe we'll wait one more turn and see what happens. So let's go ahead and barrier with Magneto. Can't see. So what we're gonna do is we're going to first. He's gonna move. Let's go ahead and move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, back one. Uh, let's just go back there. I guess that seems that seems redundant. That seems like I'm not making progress. Um, yeah, let me destroy the so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he moving, destroying these three. Did we get next? That's not natural on him, that's just me marking the spots. Okay. Um and then we will put up the wall with I use a move. Okay. That seems risky too. We'll know this in the time. Um so when he goes wall goes up like it matters. Maybe we're not gonna move. We like my needle alive. So put up a barrier there and there. And then uh Juggernaut will put up his smoke cloud. Swap. Um, Jerry puts up a, a barrier already. Barrier. And then Magneto puts up a smoke cloud. Here. Okay.
No, that's really easy. It's Isaac has Colin too, so I don't forget about that. Stellar X, has, which one has the running shot for Isaac? Uh, Stellar X, 7, 10, 17, 3. Okay. Wait, so you blast? 5 range. Yeah, running shot, 10 psych, ESP. Okay. Yeah, that's So you can move with Juggernaut, break knocking, and then quake? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, no. You quake and then the blocking. No, yeah, so he has improved movement, destroy blocking, and then when he does his quake, the adjacent ones get destroyed too, I believe. So but you have a move action to use quake? Yes. It's, it's a, you have to move, and then right. you have to quake. So but the you, move can destroy the blocking as you move through. And, and then, then you can quake, quake after? You destroy yes. the block. After you destroy the... No, no, I'm, I'm saying just like the improved movement, destroy blocking. Yeah. Does ensure it destroy blocking. Yeah, yeah, so you can just move through it. After the resolutions of the quake, I think. No. It's a free yeah, action. Let me, let me read, let me read. Is it a free action? Is the quake a free action? I got my really bad eyes. Yeah. So, I think it is a free action, so I think I could do it. Super strength, but Juggernaut is given a move action after resolution okay. to destroy all the pieces of blocking terrain. Then he can use quake and open. Okay, so I would move through, destroy, and then, then quake. quake. All right. All right. I should know that by now. <laughs> well, I don't. So I ask <laughs> no, it's good. It's only the six round. Yeah, it's only the six round. <laughs> <laughs> and the practice games. Yeah. Uh, and reading the cards online. Yeah, and the and all the previews. <laughs> yeah. so you can move 11, so go yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Which may potentially reach. 12 if I somehow manage to roll for points on this. Fair enough. Okay, but basically, totally power you So, 3, 6, no, yeah, that's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, giant reach. Okay. Um, I dropped the barrier, so my user will pick sidestep plus 1 speed, and he will sidestep to. That's fine. And he's gonna drop a wall. Right here. Right here. And we're gonna swap with Tri Sentinel. Oh, that's yours. This one yours or mine? That one's yours. I'm okay, not using those. Okay. Nope, you're good. Sidestep with Sinister. And over here. And that's wall with Tri Sentinel. Barrier with Lord Gaia. Four. One, two, three. I'm going to go four over here. Guy has pushed. Breaks up defense on the Ultron drone. Who will sidestep? No, he's good there. Clear. Back to you. Yeah, I'm a smart card. Right. So, 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 Alright. 
can only be moved, with TK, they can only be moved six, but anywhere within their range. But the character can actually only be moved six. Yes. Okay. So the other squid have to be within both of their ranges, but it's still just six. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Nobody has active, right? Nothing has active. Correct. Over there. Nothing okay. has. How'd you get so many barriers out? I killed the guy with a fire. Oh, that's right. So, so that, that's the normal, the normal thing. As one does. What did you just do the six times you've done the same thing? <laughs> I didn't know it. <laughs> okay. That's a good move. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and... You have a scary team. As do you. So we're both yeah. like, eh, hey, we're not making a lot of progress. So yeah. Whoever comes out, you know, you know, obviously we're making the same, the same cautious move here. Reading some um, lines over here. Or being... Okay, so you move forward. This guy this guy stayed the same, though, right? He didn't move anywhere. No size. Uh, that's right. He's 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 he he size up like two turns ago, and that was it. And uh, what is your battery power strong? It's outwit, right? Um, yes, outwit. Okay. Barrier. So still one, only one, one perplex on your team. That's right. Okay. All right. So, yeah, it says barrier two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. All right. So let's move to use. So let's say this doesn't help out at all. Oh wait, actually my range is seven. I'm not used to having having a, a, a longer range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Oh, we should have the same clip too. Yeah. Okay. I just I'm just not used to having the power be longer than six because I'm never in this low. Um. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, Juggernaut's gonna reaction barrier. I can't stop on it, so you have to stop. Oh wait, you don't stop. I just destroy with three, gun three. So, all right. So Juggernaut's barrier there. Um, I think we didn't need anything to go. And then we will smoke cloud with Magneto. Here. Swamp. Alright, so they continue to shuffle back and forth, uh, burying up, switching constructs. Um, essentially doing nothing. Essentially, essentially, pretty much doing nothing. Jonathan, I want to say, has moved up the most, um, <laughs> closest to the field. Uh, time is slowly ticking down. Yeah, we're probably under fifteen minutes at this point. Yeah. And uh, they have done basically nothing because Matt has not moved past those like the, the three. first three squares. Magneto moved up to the starting zone, from yeah. the back to the starting. Jonathan, so this is what I, uh, okay, so there's a different types of philosophies, right? If you feel you have no chance of winning a match, you go to a roll off, so you have a 50-50 shot, correct? Yeah. Or there are those who take the risk and go for the win. In this case, I think, they're gonna go for the, 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 the prior, the roll off. Yeah. The earlier, uh, the, uh, the uh, first option because they're not doing anything. Um, yeah. Um, it, it, so like you were saying, uh, you know, if if Matt, since his time is running low, uh, Juggernaut can just run all the way across and do quake at the end of his movement which would theoretically kill the tri sentinel mm -hmm. and then now they gotta kill juggernaut which he can do but not with the probably not with the time left yeah we have in this round the other move would be in, in my opinion if <clears throat> if matt really wants to solidify this he would have to go after the drone because if you kill the drone they can't call in green arrow Yes. Because in this scenario, if Jonathan, you know, maybe Jonathan's baiting him to come after Sentinel. Because if the he knows he'll get last turn. Mm -hmm. If Juggernaut kills Tri Sentinel, then the Ultron Drone sidesteps in, calls in Green Arrow, 
smashes for what five for five no defense and then now the the constructs Isaac they could just kill him or even four yeah and then he just gotta go through four more deep four more clicks with no defense yeah that's very possible that is very doable so um I think if if Matt realizes it he's gonna have to go after the drone which is if you look at Jonathan's positioning He's protecting. The he's drone. protecting the drone because he's behind everybody. But um, this is interesting. I, this is uh, uh, this is basically it's when you when you play that staring contest game, but then instead of just looking at each other, you put pieces on the board, and you have the pieces look at each other. That's what this is. And you move them around a little bit. Yeah. This is basically it. I mean. This is like, this is basically a dance battle, because they're just dancing. Dance oh, wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, Jonathan is making a move. Okay, he's moved up. It looks to be Magneto. <laughs> this very far. Oh my goodness, guys! This is like whale watching, and we just saw a whale. Oh my goodness! What is he doing? Let's let's listen in. What's he thinking? Surprise, surprise, just kidding. Uh, wait on that for a second, because lines of fire are going to be blocked. Uh, drop a wall with Tri-Sentinel, then swap with Sinister, Sinister with wall. Oh, here, here. And then guy is gonna barrier to fill all of this in. And so the, the sapphire ring gives you shape change. Mystics. Mystics. Is there another thing to it? The ring is there a ring there's a range issue? Is there uh, I, I modify range plus one for each opposing character to my line of fire. Okay. 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 Alright. And Fry is going to sidestep over here. Go ahead. Alright. So he's currently in 19 events? Yes, 19 with toughness shape change. Okay. Take a blast. Rebel, 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 rebel. Um. There's a rod rebel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, just, I can do stuff, I just. You get the do stuff. shape change. I can't do anything about shape change. Do stuff. Shape change. Um, okay, yeah, I don't do stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, because. Stuff you do is barrier. One, two, three, four. Almost, but not quite. And then you run away. And then they follow up with their nonsense. That's, that's good. Um, but that's if you don't roll two shape changes. If I use the colon, I get one attack pulse there. Then still have shape change for the follow up. Still two attacks for the shape change. I need you. I need you closer. Mm -hmm. Get closer. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So what we're gonna do is 
Very see now I see other things. Alright, Benito what is it? Benito has the barrier. Inside of there, so many new barriers here. Oh yeah, so if you want to break him down, you gotta you gotta bring big dude out if you want to just do that. So if you want to do that, that's your choice. Um, we will then put up the smoke cloud with Jagonet. Um, and then we'll swap. Try not put that there. Small cloud with there you go. Clear, clear, yeah. Okay. So the barrier special is both blocking? Does yeah, uh, yes, this, this is, yeah. Okay. So no, no, that's fine. As long as I'm sure. Sure. I can keep getting all mixed up. Is the smoke? That's, it's as long as I can just sell what's smoke. smoke. I'm getting that all confused. Those are two smokes, smokes, barrier, barrier, barrier. barrier. We're good. Okay. Uh, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's no more commentary. <laughs> I'm just open now. <laughs> like is it very I'm good. You just weird. You just weird. You just weird. <laughs> That's, That's funny. They're so doing the waltz and then you bury it. he did something, he moved up, something's about to happen. Oh it's not you bury it again. <laughs> It is the most funny game ever. Worth it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. Thanks. This is dumb. Um, so super dumb, super dumb. I mean, <laughs> poker face, I have good ideas. <laughs> okay, okay. Last turn. Oh, oh okay. Last turn. <laughs> Sorry, last round. Last, last round. So we'll do this turn. Is this the last turn? This is the last turn. Oh, so I can do something or we're done. Up the second players. So he went first. I have one more turn. So yeah, you have one more turn. So until you're done. So who's who's going right now? I am. Until you. Well, he you're done. Yeah. Well, okay. He, uh, okay. That's it. Then. That is done. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're going to do something. Well, I, I have a turn. I thought, oh, I thought you were. I thought you were. Okay, uh, I was cleaning up my barrier. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's ending. It's ending. Yes, yeah, it's my turn. I'm cleaning up my barrier. Call something in. Um, I don't think I will. <laughs> well, I mean, I would love to be able to attack something this game, so let's try and do that. Okay. How about that? Go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, can I even get that far? Let's find out. Okay. Eight. I can't even see my magneto. You can do it with impunity, because it's the end of the turn. <laughs> I have forever time. Um, let's ask to TK. It's one action, two action, three action, four action. That worked for me. Okay. I didn't realize we were that oh, So, last round has been called. Uh, Jonathan is finishing up his turn. And uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, I can't see him. Yeah. All right, it's too bad. 
Yeah. Yep, I can't see for uh, for to have to put my own speed to get there. We so the place. we're going to <laughs> um, free action swap. Roll on the battery and hope for a perplex. Okay. So two, I think you passed the. No. I'm not okay, sure. Those prob and support. All right. There you go. Neither one of us name. If you got perplex, what happens? You got double perplex. What do you do? Yeah, I, if, I, if I had a perplex, I think I could move up here, get plus one to my speed, and then get around. get around and get a line of fire on Magneto for a pulse wave. Okay. But it would do one damage. You're not next to any blocking. Yeah. I just wanted to get. Just wanted to do attack. I wanted to roll dice. I wanted to roll dice besides. Oh, we have a roll off. Yeah, we have a roll off. Very exciting. This is very stressful. Roll off. And then who wants to to go first? Do you want to roll first? I'll let you roll first. I'm gonna use your deck. Six. Okay. Uh -oh. So that's beatable. Oh. Good nice. game. Okay. Good game, man. That was, you know. And Matt Esbrook uh, gets the win via roll off. So on to the semifinals, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.
All right, yeah. S start recording. Hey guys, uh, we're back. We just finished our quarterfinals. We're in the we're semis now. Semis. And um, so a lot of upsets. <laughs> a lot of upsets. Okay, so uh, now the number one seed, Rob, got knocked out by Tony. Which happened last time, if you remember correctly. Yes, yes. Um, uh, Justin knocked out Colin, who went undefeated yeah, yeah. in the last 1K. So uh, Tony's fired up today because uh, we didn't pick him. This is true. That's yeah, fine. He but it's good motivation awesome. for him. That's good. Uh, now he's just got to win two more rounds. Then he can he can say what he wants to say. Until then, you just want to you just want a top eight match. <laughs> um, but he he had a good game against Rob. He yeah. pulled it off one twenty to eighty, so it was close. But you know Tony's a very aggressive player. We talked about like he yeah, gets he a had, lot of points. So he he's, he's got some amount of points. He's gonna he's gonna get in there. So that's good. Um, there's a little controversy between the Steve and uh, Michael match. Mike. Uh, but it was a 35 to 35 score, and they went to a roll up at the end, and uh, Michael won that. Yeah. And then, as you saw this one, a very exciting match. You guys just roll off zero zero. Ugh. Um, but the Steve was the number. So the number one and two seed are gone. Yeah. As well as the three seed. And, and the, the four, four seed. Okay, hold on. All four games were upsets. They were. So the 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 remaining four in the in this event. Are the five, six, seven, eight seed? So they all upset their. Uh, yeah. Their so guys. and how many of these are um, trial winners? Uh, Matt Esbrook is a trial winner. Mm -hmm. And Tony. So we went from five in the top eight. Yeah. To two. To two. So now. So uh, so we have Juggernaut, Unihawk, Wendigo Dice Manipulation, and WWE Mystical. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, this is one heck of a playing field. Uh. You can see, I mean, matchups do matter, but you can really see the pilots are also the the big key because, uh, you know, we thought that the constructs team, the construct teams were gonna be, yes, and you know, we really thought the construct team probably should have beaten the the Esper, the, Esper, uh, the, the Esper juggernaut, juggernaut, but you know, um, maybe not sure with the matchup. Yeah, he could have been unfamiliar yeah. with the matchup, and also the you know the con Rob's construct team. But it, it would be nice to know like what happened. In that game, because it was 120 to 80, so it was a really close yeah, game. Yeah, I walked by, and there's a lot of destroyed walls. Yeah, I believe the the Sentinel, Sentinel did, some did some of that work, and so this is uh you know it's it's really good uh, uh, top eight right now. Yeah, and we're about to start, so let's get going. It's Michael Broderick versus David Cologne, and David rocking the hometown hometown heroes shirt. Yeah, and uh, so. Try to be, try try not to have a uh, rooting interest, but it's gonna be hard because that's that's my guy right there. This is true. Uh, is David mic'd up? Oh, let me go tell him. Roderick's got it. <coughs> hey Dave, uh, put your lapel mic on. Yeah. Oh, he has it. Okay. Cool. Oh, I just couldn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did he have it? Yeah, he has oh. it. You're good. You're good. Uh, cameras look fine, right? Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's go to hear what our guys are talking about. Which ones? Wrath and Lust. Nice. Thanks. Oh, Rob has one more um, wooden token. I like the wooden ones better. <laughs> Ah. Can you ask me if he wants to trade? I'm like, I don't like those other like, ones. Like, freaky. Oh, sorry. So, semifinals? Uh, they have a question there. That's fine. That's fine. You know, stress me out. It's okay, Craig. It's okay. Just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> I like these things. Easy to make, but I mean, it's nice. Then All right, guys, we're about to start, and uh, it looks like David won map, taking yeah. him to the Flashpoint Flood, which pretty much uh, stops him from burying up. That's really smart. Uh, so that was a very smart move. And it looks like, oh, man, I wish we would have, I should put the, um, I should go there and check what the dice are for Migsy. And yeah. 
Trying to probably give them the white dice. That works here. Yeah. Alright, let's scan the rounds going and start. Here we go, guys. Um, fist, prob, uh, senses with uh, Star Fox. Power here, put on uh, Lust onto Unimine. Roll for Pandora's. He gets EE. -E. So that's why Unimine has the tokens because of the Lust. Right. So that's the power okay. action, yeah. Okay. Um, Do we, we have all rolls in here? I'm just curious. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. That's yes. okay. That's I don't care. So, um, draw PC, plus two to my defense, plus one to uh, Flora's, and it's roll for Flora, end of my turn. Because we can't see this. Oh, gotcha. And you can still have this on that's the fine. side, but you see that? we can't see it. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 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 There it goes, sir. Okay. <sighs> first time I missed the first roll. Okay. So first turn, David equips the Lust to Unimine. Uh, attempts to heal the flora in the water, which is really good for the flora <clears> on this map because it gives them the extra healing. Oh, there are six and two. Perfect. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and see what Broderick's doing. It looks like it's a power action to the blue battery. Um... <laughs> then <laughs> when to go will perplex up oh I can't I'll call it anyways just in case I he'll perplex up his defense that's fine uh, I don't want that to be a deciding factor just perplex whatever you want to do and we'll decide from there. Move action for Windigo. Very drone. Two actions. Mincy will take a token, move, but come back. You don't shoot through him during night? Yes. Oh, he does? You don't mind it, so. Okay. That doesn't matter. All right. I will. Uh, so he is perplexed. Did three actions. I will call it your turn. No leadership? I don't have leadership. Okay. Alright. But you don't have leadership either, right? I don't. Just two figures. Uh, roll for Pandora's. Oh, sorry. Same thing, yeah. Three. I'll start rolling in there. Sorry about that, man. That's okay with you. Um, fist, Bob. Senses from um, Firefox. Pick, 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 pick. Power here. Give a uh, wrath to Nighthawk. So they both have running shot now. Drop PC. Plus two to defense. Plus one to hers. Uh, before we clear, you and me, you're going to roll for her. Five. So she goes up two. Okay. And I'll pass turn to you. So Dave is spending the first couple turns putting on the constructs, or the uh, relics, the sins on Nighthawk and Unimine. Uh, Lust is on Unimine, Wrath is on Nighthawk, and just right now, Flora just rolled and healed too because Flora's on water. Uh, Matt, uh, Mike, Michael's trying to run to the corner to set up a uh, barrier. Uh, set of barriers but it's not really going to work against the Unimind on this map because you can just see over the barrier and shoot when to go so this will be interesting sign step to there um Mitzi will make him tiny because he's within three squares mm -hmm. 
So this will clear when I'm ready. It's over. What do you mean? Oh. Go ahead and finish your turn. Can't see. Oh, where is? Okay. So, when you go will clear, I will perplex three times because of this. Okay. I will perplex uh, him up twice and him up once on defense, okay. shield, whatever. Mm -hmm. What do you say, defense or shield? Defense, yeah, or whatever you like. <laughs> All right, so then I will clear. He's tiny, he's up two, he's up one. Let's roll four Pandora's box. One. Guess we're going to be playing running shot today. Fist, prob, senses with Makari. You keep saying fist prob, I'm just curious what is that one? The fist power? Oh, okay. okay. Get some quintessence. And then um, uh, uh, wit and perplex, he gets to roll out of them. Well, perplex, not outwit. Do so you have Nighthawk, Buccaneering? So Nighthawk. Oh, I'm not so Night. <laughs> Hawkeye. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Hawkeye. Yeah. Okay. So I stepped up there. And drop PC plus one to her plus one to his. We're gonna roll for Flora. Nope. How many times have we healed for her? Uh, once in the water. My turn? Mm hmm. I'll be a clear round. Oh, duh. I'll do this. Uh, catapult on trailing. Pushing. Mm -hmm. Nitsa will make these walls. Trailing will switch. Trailing will make these walls. So I have three uses of the flex. I'll do two to him, one to him, mm -hmm. and clear. I'm like, we're not in Alright. We're going to roll for Pandora's first. Running shot? Or both of them? Uh, this power, Bob. Senses from Starbox. Step. We'll slide step zero. We'll drop any here. We'll slide step there. Yeah, slide step to here. And we'll slide step back here. We will drop PC. We will go all four to my own defense. And for now, we're going to end the turn. Go for Flora. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the same and clear. Um, two, one, he's small. Um, trailing builds these first, Mitsu will build those second. And clear the battery. So two, one. 
tiny size. Mm -hmm. Defense is what their stats are. Alright, can I see when it is? I just want to see that. Um, let's see. So right now he is there. That's what I need. Mean. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, looks like David moved you know, mine off to the side a little bit, cleared his tokens. Um, Broderick also cleared, barrier back up. Making when to go tiny, correct? Making when to go tiny, so. It doesn't matter. But can't on shoot uh, the blocking. There is a direct diagonal from when to go all the way down to where uh, the Pandora's box is, mm -hmm. kind of around there. And if, he, if David pumps up his range by two. And let's say damage by two. He could theoretically running shot and yes. pen blast uh, <coughs> Wendigo. Wendigo for, what, six? for six kill and he'll him. kill him. However, the two would be something to be worried about on the uh, on, on the Migsy die, but I mean it's a free shot. There's really nothing else he could do. Yeah, he, sh he won't be able to get back. Yeah, and what's Wendigo's defense? Um, let's take a quick look. I believe it is uh, 18. 18. So he would need a 7. Uh, we're at uh, with a prob. And he's, he rolled the 5 this turn for the so Pandora's So box. he has two probs. Uh, it, it might be worth it to take that one shot. or if you re Because Wendigo will not have a stop click because he doesn't have a, a wound token anywhere. Yes. He might. He could just work on him and just do 4 by pumping an attack. Just mm -hmm. do 4, next turn do it again and kill him. If he does that, I think it's over. Well, um, uh, however, there is an Ultron drone that he has to deal with. But with Nighthawk on the board, it's going to be really, really hard. Yeah, he won't be able to one-shot him with Green Arrow. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Um, the six on Trillian does help. I think David's off on the line right now. We'll see what he does. I think he's trying to block. Yeah. So he doesn't get hit. If he, yeah. Yeah, he's just moving over there. Okay, so he's not going to take a shot. Okay. All right. I, I mean, I would take a shot just to see if uh, you connect. Because if you're going to move, yeah, you might as well move and then take a shot. And he had the double prob this turn, too. Yeah, so he had two chances at it. Yeah, I, I, I would have taken that shot. But mm -hmm. we'll see what his plan is. I think he might... I think he's planning on getting closer. Yeah. Uh, Flora's already Flora. healed once for two clicks because it's on water. All right, let's go ahead and see what uh, Michael does. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Move into water. That was a uh, so Broderick moves out. Wendigo carrying the Ultron drone. Oh, that was a very bold move. <laughs> De cut day. It was a very bold move. Um, is that the Ultron that has it's the stop future. with no. the the future drone? Has when future, it, the click is it. revealed, you deal one penetrating right to somebody. Uh, if they're, I believe if you're like next to him or something, mm -hmm. but it's not going to matter because uh, he's going to get pen blasted for two and die. Yeah. So if David, like if okay, if he moves out, he's gonna have to. Okay. Alright, so I will make walls with. You know what? No, I won't. I'll just let you go after whatever you want to go after. <laughs> no matter what, it doesn't matter. to stay back. Um, perplex, it doesn't matter, but he'll perplex himself up once, mm -hmm. and he'll get twice. Um, I'm going to actually roll for this. I'm going to roll for this thing. Mm -hmm. Another perplex, great. Perplex up again. I'm going to sell. Two map rolls tied. Three map rolls. You one by one. Three map rolls. So Dave has a shot here. If he can run his shot up, he can pin blast for six. Here we go, he's counting. Yeah, the actual better move would be to the actual better move would be to kill Ultron Drum. Because he doesn't need to pump damage. Yeah. He just needs to do four to kill it, because it's gonna take two after the invuln. And uh, he, if his attack is pumped to a thirteen, he should be able to bypass the uh, the two that's showing in Mixie's die. Because he's gonna need a five. It's a twelve on seventeen. Mm -hmm. Or oh, 13 on 17, sorry, he needs a 4. And then he can sidestep back to, into the cubby. <laughs> so he now has run shot from the box. It, it, what, it, what did he roll? A 2, I believe. Okay.
for both stencils with Mahari. Uh, what is his defense right now? It's uh, Emperor? Or yeah. Emperor Brown? Yeah. With the decoy, right? Yeah. So Dave is trying to map out his attack to Ultra uh, Wendigo. However, if he doesn't perplex damage, it's not going to kill him. And I always say you have to kill something every turn. I, I stress that over and over and over. And uh, because if you don't kill something every time you attack, you're just encamping yourself. Uh, and that's that's if you can't kill something. If you can't, then that's different. But in this scenario, he can kill the drone in one shot mm -hmm. and to me that's more that's scarier because the drone can call in like Nick Fury or something yeah but if he's gonna perplex damage and kill the, the one to go then that's a good move however he has to hit on an 18 so here we go let's see what happens uh, reroll mm-hmm Are you going to prob that? Uh, what do you have right now? Six and two? <laughs> Put there, it's going to be seven. Um, so 13, 18. It's funny to five. Uh, I'll prob it. But you don't mind. I'm not going to move it. So, how many? Just six straight through Pentagon. So, uh, just wanted to say that David has come a long way. He now understands. He, he plays here a lot at the store. He understands the matchup now. That's this is he he, he did it in the uh, first round that we saw him yesterday, mm -hmm. and obviously he's doing it now. But he understands he has to kill something every turn. So he had an option there to get the drone. But have it with enough perplexes and he needs a five. One shot uh, Wendigo for six damage. Beautiful move on Dave's part. And now he's up 100 points. And now... Hiding behind the block. He's hiding turn. behind. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. He planned out the, the ring shot, the sidestep. Now there's almost a zero percent. There's almost no chance that Michael can win, I don't think. Because the next shot, when Unimine comes out of that cubby, it's gonna hit it's gonna hit that drone. And at that point, Migsy and Trillian have to come out. Yeah, and Migsy does have a pulse wave remember. He does correctly. have a pulse, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah. They're just gonna give him tokens. But now the Nick Fury is off the board. Um or no, I'm sorry, Nick Fury. No, actually, everyone's still on the board. It's just the drone. I don't know how he's going to get around to, to get the shot off on uh, Yeah, he's going to have to position to where he can get a shot off, at least on Unimine. And uh, Flora has healed, so you can't kill that either. It's beautiful. So it's an uphill battle for Broderick at the moment. Wow, that, 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 that was impressive. I will say that impressive, because right when I... I just explained how you need to kill something every turn you yeah. make an attack, and Dave yeah, straight up did, did it. it. And, and he saw the line that you were pointing out where he needed to do six damage yeah. with so a pen blast, and he got it. The man with the plan. So David has been very focused today on winning because he really wants that Mick Foley signed Rock and Sock, <laughs> yeah. and he's been telling me for all, like a week that he's going to win that. So I hope he uh, hope he can do that. 
There's is a green arrow. Oh, is that a green arrow? Um, it looks like Mix moved out. Oh, Mix. Okay. <coughs> Wow, this map was very helpful for Dave because you can't bury it. <coughs> it's very hard to bury on this map. Yeah, there's little pockets, but not enough. Not enough to, S uh, especially if you have a uh, giant. Mm -hmm. mm. This is interesting. Let's see what's happening. Now I can assign it. One, two. Uh, Mitsa will make two walls like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Ultron will make two walls like that. Sure. Okay, share the construct? Yeah. Cool. And then I will sidestep there. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I won't. I'll, I'll just move Mitsa next. Alright. Oh wait, I can't share a construct. Sorry. I don't have that click. So this will be back. Yeah. And uh that'll be your turn. Let's go for Endurance. Two. We both have our new channel. Fist. Draws with uh, Ion, Senses from Makari, drop PC here, uh, does that mean you to block me? No. We're going to drop PC, plus two to Flora's defense, one and one. So I'm just going to move here. Yeah. So you might have regen at all. Regen? No, you don't mind getting it. Where? Uh, his like one of his Oh, but not. Oh, okay. Not right now. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna call in Hawkeye, I think. So, Broderick looks to be looking to call in Hawkeye going to be a little rough for him to move around on the water because it cuts his move in, his run shot in half which is already cut in half yeah so it'd be a two or three movement right um well if if michael had if michael if i'm if i'm correct and he pushed migsy uh he can make hawkeye uh, colossal ah and he can have him shoot over and hit hit that, mine and hit everybody that would work that is uh yeah i forgot about that part of mix So I think that's what he's going to do because this is what he normally does. This is the move. Yeah, it's going to make him. I think it's going to make him close. Yeah. Just within three. Line of fire. Within three and line of fire. Oh. That's right because it's always a colossal. I always do window. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then he was like that. So I can still call him here. I can still call him there. Correct. Right. Right, this one is there. 
Let's look at the there instead. Um, he was here. Yeah, he was here, right? Yeah, I um, just put it in. Okay. Uh, the no? only thing I, I, I just did kick back the Ultron here, if you don't mind. Where was he? Uh, the Ultron? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, I'll take, I'll, yeah, if you want to sidestep him, that's fine, but not move him at all. That's okay. yeah, I'll take that, I'll take back this one again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright. Yeah, because he moved, called in, and then we couldn't, um, make him colossal. Okay. So there. Alright, so now we'll make him colossal. Okay. And then four. More perplexing, so. Eleven for two on, what's Nighthawks? Ethan. He's at uh, 19 right now. He's got shape change. And shape change. And then colossal. 19 seven. there. 18 there. Alright, I'll do with the Hawk, Nighthawk first. Got her. Okay, I'll do the claw, or the four. 8, 11, um, 19. Actually, what's he minus defense? 21 or something? Uh, no, he's at, um,. He's a two to here. He's at 18 right now. Actually, I'll go uni line. I like that better. Oh. 18. No shape change right now. No. 11. Probably uni line. Okay. Okay. You're not going to probably anymore, right? No, no, no. I'm, I, uh, I, can't see it. Alright, so I'll replace. But yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I kind of want. Yeah. So that's outright. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Right. And then, so you take one damage, right? So no, no, it was Uni Mine. Remember I said oh, I, you I like the 18 you better. Take, yeah, you'll take the one. And then, here. I can pick, right? As soon as it happens. So it'd be a fist and prop. Okay. Or a fist and an invincible, sorry. How many clicks is he at now? Like, what click number is he at? He is at 17 right now. I see his card. I just want to see if it even matters if I ping him. Probably doesn't anymore. Yeah, he'd still have to be hit three times. In that case, I'll just running shot. I get three movement, right? Mm -hmm. Or in here, I get two movement. Oh, yeah. You're good. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Here. Are you going to move Yeah. Sounds oh, okay. good. Nice shot, though. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'll leave him on the map. Okay. I'll make that shot on him. Okay. Alright. Okay. At this point, it doesn't, I should have rolled in there. Can we roll in there? That's fine. Eight. Eight. Nineteen. Yep. Alright, so he stays. Oh, that's yours. <laughs> oh. My mind's there. Alright, so that was three actions. Mm -hmm. Can I see Nighthawks before the return ends? Yeah. Uh, Nighthawks, Hawkeye. So I think they made a slight error there because Unimine's defense was 18, and I just remember him saying that he perplexed Flora's defense to 20 using perplex twice because when he attacked Unimine, Unimine was, at, was an 18. Yes. So if, if Dave just not using the perplexes, then that's that's not, I mean, that would be dumb. Purpose of yeah, that's the purpose of Unimine. So, uh, and, and Michael did roll a 19, would have missed, but they did agree that it was a 17, so you know, it's on them. Yeah, they agreed on the state of the game. <sighs> Wait, hold on. I couldn't make wall without switching. I can't switch. So that wouldn't be the wall. I can make this wall. Okay. All right. Sorry. No, no, where's... I just want to... Can we get that class set up? Yeah. Time? Okay, cool. Okay. Right mm -hmm. My eyes are, like, right there. Anyway, so yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. No I'm the cards. I... I got you. Um... Slope or the doors. Running shot. I see a new card here. Fist. 
and prob or ion. Use two percenters from um, Starbucks. Okay, so I feel like I feel like uh, Michael has a plan here, but it might take a little long. But I think what's, what he's trying to do is he's trying to do he's trying to ping three damage onto Unimine, and then when the time is right, if the drone lives, he's going to call him Green Arrow and pop him. But that's, then that's a whole other problem because then you got to deal with the the Eternals. The Eternals, and they're all they can all call in Nick. Yeah. And something's gonna die. Yeah. Um, but uh, the the first order of business would be to get the three damage onto Unimine, which is not easy. Yeah, we'll have to. Hopefully, David uses the perplexes on the defense. Yeah, makes it a little time. harder. Let's see here. And uh, like I said, yeah, right now it's David's game to lose. For four. Uh, we're gonna enter. We're gonna pull roll for four first. Just not here. But I will clear. Uh, well, so mm -hmm. these are off. He makes some tiny. Okay. I will clear. Make these again. Mm -hmm. And it's your turn. Roll for. Pandora's six, so we both have fraud now. Gonna choose fist and invincible from Unimine. Um, we'll choose fist and phase here, invincible here. He has a special prop, right? Uh, that special pulse weight, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you like? Yeah. Oh, and deals no damage. Okay. So just two senses in. Same thing there, just.
Okay, you see here, sorry. Plus four to my defense. Draw PC, plus four. Side so step there, drop there. Uh, Wolf of four. She heals. So that's uh, 16 now. Okay. Alright, trailing, it's uh, this thing. Mm -hmm. So just to recap of the last turn, uh, Michael cleared, put up his wall, shrunk down uh, Ultron drone to Tiny, David quadruple perplexed his defense, phased over behind the blocking, and uh, he got to heal the floor up too. So we're doing here, because this is going to be like, these are going to be open. I'll just fill it out there. Is Owen still there? Anybody? Uh, no, I'm just asking where to take a second. Well, with Mitsu, uh, make him tiny. Mm -hmm. uh, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, sure. Hey, Mom. We'll run here. We'll move here. Drop me there. Drop my up there. Drop PC. Plus four to my defense. Let's go for four. Three. Giant size. Mm -hmm. Carry him. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have David moving back to his starting area. Um, we also have now Broderick moving all the way up to get in David's face. And it looks like it is the last round, and I believe the game is over. David looks like he's going to win 105-0. to zero. That's a thirty point, right? Yeah. Uh, fist. 
fraud from ion, sensors from occurring. Of her attack. She goes half here. Any shot? Pulse wave? Two, three. So 13 on your 17. So two. Inside the thing. Oh, sorry. Inside the thing. successfully killed the Ultron drone with a single target pulse wave, moved up the floor to base Migzy, and then uh, pass turn to Broderick to finish off the round. Make him Colossal and do a pulse wave on your base. Right. Might as well. Have you not killed a drone, uh, I could have got Uni, yep. and then he could have given him another damage off the stop click. And then they would have popped out, and then I would have needed one more turn. Oh, in the box, in the box. What did I get? Oh! <laughs> nice! Deals no damage. I know. Everyone gets. Oh. He gets two. Alright, I'll get one. He gets a push. Okay. Alright, good game. Good game, man. Tough, tough map. Good game, guys. Congratulations <laughs> to uh, let's David. Let's see. Moving on to the finals. No. Hey, hey, hey.
Peace on my. It'd be like this year, I guess. Just do it again. Oh, I need to get moved like that. I don't know. I'm going to write this chair in probably. Oh, this is good. I'm so nervous right now. Oh, you're looking at it this way. You're already. You're actually. Like, you've got. <laughs> you've got this far. So it's like. You got first and second. Like, the worst you can do now is you get second. Also, taking sign ups for the modern. I am. I'm like, I love the VR is the modern. You're um, you're dicey. Yeah. Oh, those aren't mine. Those aren't yours? Oh, it's Pat Bros's one. It's a good team, man. Just a map, that way it's just... Yeah. I can't believe we were all like... three or four times for that one. I've never won that one. Yeah, yeah. Just pull them out. I don't know if you saw. Just pull them out and I'll take them up on it. And then you roll... West side? West side was? Yeah, that was fun. Did you do what you wanted? You're looking at Spadbeer. You're looking at Spadbeer. You are? Yeah. With Tantica. He's like 2 and 8. Yeah, no, but you, you uh, make me look good, man, because you you did the, the first time you did the move that you saw the line, and this one you did the same thing. We were talking about, we're like, oh, dude, you could, you, you, you look at the back of the card, and he's like, there you go, dude. He's like, dude, if he six damage him, he might kill him right here. Yeah. I'm like, well, he's got rollouts, but he gets him. Because we looked at him on the round, and, and like, I'm pretty it. sure it's like five And we're like, oh, shit. And then we're like, we just, we just talked about, he needs to get a six damage shot on one of Yes. But he's got the shape change. That's it. Like, okay, here it is. It comes down to this. First turn, I forgot. Here we go.
One. Two. All right. Pissed. Right. Prob with Ion. Guys. About to start off, we have David rocking his Uni Hawk. Tony going down with the Mystical. So let's see. Uh, a little bit of a crowd. Yeah, there's a little bit of a crowd in the background. So let's see what happens. Give him Lust. Lust here. Roll for Pandora's. Four, so EE. -E. Uh, drop PC, plus two to my defense, plus one to uh, uh, hers. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we're going to end turn, but we're going to roll for the. Uh, not this time. Go ahead. Alrighty. Um, you want to pick. So this is the eight number eight seed. Upset the uh, apple cart here. And uh, Dave, the six seed, also. A couple upsets. So this is kind of like the old guard versus new guard because Unimine Nighthawk is a known thing. Mm -hmm. And WWE is new. And we have. And there's still a theme, Mystical. So. The Dave's on his trusty Flashpoint Flood map, so that I, I believe they don't have improved movement. Maybe Undertaker does, but one, two, three. Okay, maybe he, he was just moving there. And I think he's just going to uh, equip. Quip. So for those of you guys who don't know, the WWE team ability grants you a grand entrance in mixed matches. Um, so that's why he's able to move out for free and then equip. So, okay, um, let's look up Finn. Undertaker doesn't have uh, its eye in. Two ends. Uh, Undertaker doesn't have doesn't have improved movement, and neither does Valor. Valor. Okay. So we might as well put their stuff up here so we can just see it. We, we can oh. refer to the dials. Yeah. All right. Let's hear what they're talking about. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're we'll good in the. Chill. This is on him. Here we go. Alright. So, four Pandora's. Six. So, uh, EE still. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pick uh, Fist and. Uh, Invincible. Because why not? And then senses from Star Fox. Just to throw you off your egg game. Power action here, give uh, Wrath the or give you know how you know how that Wrath. So this thing clicks to double frog. So Nighthawk and, and Unimind. Um he's full. Drop uh, PC mm -hmm. plus two to defense plus one to defense there from here, and we're gonna rest Uni. So we're gonna roll for Flora. Mm -hmm. She does not heal. All right. Um, what powers can I have or can't have? Prop. Oh wait. Okay. So the interesting thing about this matchup is uh, Dave is a range team, mostly, unless he has, absolutely has to get inside. And the WWE, Tony's team, they can't be shot. But on the other hand, Tony relies on you know some bonuses from the signature moves and some perplexes and whatnot to hit, but Nighthawk prevents that. Yeah. So it's going to be an interesting match to see what happens here because I think Tony has to go after Nighthawk in order to... Uh -oh. to uh, to yeah, to be able to go because if if, if let's say Tony calls in Green Arrow, it's, it's not gonna it's gonna be very hard for him to hit a twenty one. Yeah, with, it's gonna with, be twelve yes. for three damage yeah, on a twenty one. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, and, and that's if he can get the line. And you can see Tony running back with the Tri Sentinel because I believe Dave's only course of action here is to shoot Tri Sentinel because he's the only one that you can see. Yeah. Whereas uh, Alex Wilder has Mastermind, which I guess would still be fine. The Mastermind would be useful yeah. to the other figures because that may be the way to actually yeah, arrange them yeah. from. So he can actually. So Dave has two options here. He either runs up and just chances the shape change on Alex, mm -hmm. takes the shot, or goes a little bit further and hit Tri Sentinel. I'm leaning towards him shooting 
Go try Sentinel. No. Alex Walter. No. Alex Walter because Tri Sentinel's too far. He'll have to overextend. See, if you look at Day right now, he's counting to see the shots onto Alex, and he's going to probably come back. So one thought with Alex is if he does Mastermind, he'll knock him off their top click, and then he can now range He can now hit him right. Or Tony just... Loses Wilder and gets him back the next turn. back the next turn, and it'll be, a, it'll be parody. Yeah, then it'll be a 25-25 yes. game. So that, that, is a, that is a thing. But that means Dave could just try to kill him. And then it also gives Dave another chance to kill him and get another mm -hmm. 25. Or knock him down, knock the, the other guys down right. with the Master. So Dave rolled a 1 on the Pandora's box. He's got running shots, so that's actually pretty good for him. Mm -hmm. Matari? Mm -hmm. uh, I hope I don't miss, don't make this a uh, shape change. <laughs> Somebody shit him. <laughs> oh boy. He's banking on it. Here we go. That I don't have the shape change. I got that sidestep here. Yep. Let's drop Nighthawk here. Mm -hmm. Why not? Drop PC. Mm -hmm. Plus four to defense. All right. And we're going to rest everyone and then okay. roll for Flora. She doesn't. Wow, it's gonna be one of those games for me. All right. Well, it's my call. All right. All right. Alex, go ahead and quit this. Alex will place Taker here with the spin ring. What powers can he have or can't have? Prob outwit. Okay. Uh, he should actually. Uh, he script the distance. He script the distance, so he should be clear. Taker will side. Yeah. We'll go ahead and push the battery. Mm -hmm. And assign taker the stop sign. Um, and we'll just do what it did last time. Because why not? And uh, clear him. Oh shit, there's stop clean. Really? And then a colossal retail to finish the up, don't do it. I'm not begging you to come here to me. 
Uh, two senses with Macari. Okay. So fist and uh, same thing Bob. And sidestep here. All right. Drop PC. Mm -hmm. Plus two to her defense. And a roll for her. No. What's good about having a player like Tony in the finals is he's aggressive. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna fight. Yeah, Tony doesn't play the teams where he sits back. No, he and does. Hides. It's very rare. If, if he does stay back, he's still gonna be able to attack you. That's that's what he's trying to do. So his um, looks like what he's trying to do here is just with Undertaker is just slowly creep up and then call in something and take a shot at something. Uh, his ID setup is it's Storm, Storm Green Arrow and Nightwing. So he's got double of the Connelly Storm. Mm -hmm. So if she can <clears throat> get in there. She might be able to kill Nighthawk. I believe that he's gonna. I believe he's gonna try to make it so that he can get a direct diagonal on Nighthawk. Mm -hmm. That'll on, make the most sense. Then that's the look. You can see that's where she's doing it. So he's gonna wait. Could because right now it's a single target on to Nighthawk. Her four damage with knockback into the wall will kill Nighthawk. But I don't know if Undertaker can get far enough. Or I don't think Storm can get far enough where the pulse wave will. Because her range is only three, but he might, he might, if he didn't equip the sniper rifle, he, or assign a sniper rifle, he might put the sniper onto uh, Storm. Storm. And then now you can do the pulse wave, but it depends on whether or not he, oh, no, it's already on. See, in, in a scenario like this, I would not put the sniper on, on anyone. Mm-hmm. Save I, I would wait until you call in Storm, put the sniper, then pulse wave for farther. Because at the at, if Tony waits another turn, and he does a sniper trick, Storm can pulse wave pretty far. That, yeah. th those five squares. <coughs> yeah, that would be be very devastating, and then that leaves it, that opens him up to use his specials. Right. Oh, he's going the other route. Well then, uh, go ahead and move here, and then side step, drop it back because he's not useful at the moment. For Pandora's first. Three, so everyone has a range on it. So what uh, Tony is trying to do with this team, as you could, you know, anybody who watched yesterday, he's trying to get the, uh, he's a sniper and the Mjolnir onto a WWE guy so they can do their signature move from 10 away. But in the case of the Sapphire battery, you get plus one for each guy you can see. So if you can see him, it's like get up to possible eight range. 13, yeah. 13, no, oh, 10 13, plus yeah. 13, It'll but sleep. with Nighthawk, it's only going to be 10. <clears throat> so... But 10 range signature move with, mm -hmm. uh, it's still very devastating. Okay, let's see what their duck come about here. Protect both of them. Cool. Okay. So now we can just decide right now. Uh, fist prob. Mm -hmm. 
Same set with Macari. Mm -hmm. Side step here. Mm -hmm. Carry. Move here. Okay. Drop PC. Mm -hmm. Press forward to my defense. Okay. Come at me, take it. Let's roll for four. It's end of my turn. Mm -hmm. She heals. So this is what I was we were talking about earlier, the the way conservative route. This to me is equivalent to if you're playing chess and you just let your opponent move all their pawns before you. Yeah. Uh, which means you're not gonna have any setup. You're you're giving them all the tempo, everything. So at this point, Tony's just setting up for he's just setting up for an attack because he's getting closer. Dave's not even taking a, a shot. Yeah. And that's this is this is what you know earlier Jeff and I were talking about how over conservativeness of playing is is really detrimental to a lot of games because you can see we watching the top eight the, the, those guys didn't do anything and they had to go roll off you're yeah. really risking doing that if if David had a shot he could just run over and he could have hit Alex Wilder mm-hmm if not even Alex Wilder, go farther and hit Sentinel. But he, he needs to move. He needs to do something. And because Unimine has Invincible, you're not going to take the Mystics. It doesn't matter. Yes. So that's a... It's, to me, it's a sign of... It's a sign. Unless he has a plan of what he's going to do. Because, because he doesn't have any close combat guys on his team other than Hulk. Mm -hmm. And in this scenario, I believe they picked the wrong... It looks like he picked, he picked Nick. Nick Fury. He should have picked Hulk, because Hulk can one shot uh, Finn Balor. Yeah, with an object. And all he needs, and and Dave's not playing objects. And this is this yeah. is one of the the, the next level thinking <laughs> that yeah, that requires to go. You know, like look, he's gotten this far, so that's very impressive. But to go the next level to win the whole thing, you have to foresee a lot of things. So like, had he put objects on his force, Hulk can pick those up pick those up and Hulk can be doing seven damage through a shape change because they have shape change yeah and then Finn could die and then especially if he's actually playing the ultra heavies that yeah. a lot of people can't pick up and it'll prevent them exactly so that's one of the you know it's it's just you, you have to maximize the the optimal build you have to maximize it the efficiency um, and, and, and like in this case it's Nick who's useless um, yes Hulk would have been way better. And Black Canary. Black Canary can't really do anything either. So at this point, uh, um, until Dave can take a shot in on somebody and take them off their first click, uh, the ID cards are useless. Yes. Um, he has Hypersonic from Macri, so that may be an option he wants to explore, but they do need to get a little closer. Yeah, it's okay. So now he's going to come up there. And, uh oh. This could be potentially bad. For Dave, because if he gets close, and he gets, uh, he gets hit through. Through Finn. Okay, let's see what he's done. Okay, so he's. About that six. Six. Okay, so he's got prob. <coughs> All right, let's just listen what he's gonna do here. This is the and. Uh, we're going invincible. Combat reflex right now? Nope. What is he at? I'm 17. I have a sniper rifle. Sniper rifle? Mm hmm. Well, oh, um. So, oh, okay, uh, hypersonic. Drop so, PC. Uh, two to attack. Mm hmm. Two to damage. Mm hmm. Two to the uh, defense, two to two to defense, two to um, damage. Okay. That's probably we're gonna sidestep first. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run up here. Mm 
Oh, no. Shape change. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, he rolled. And Tony he got... hit the shape change. Uh oh. So Unimine is, um, I don't want to say dead in the water because he's standing on top of a building, <laughs> but he missed the attack and now he's kind of out there in the middle of the map, which gives Tony an opening. He, uh... Oh, is that his full move? He didn't try to get away? Um, he sidestepped up two. And he hypered in, right? And he hypered in. Oh, that's all the way up. So two, Ooh, three, this could four, be bad. five, six, seven, this eight. really bad for Dave. Yeah. Yeah, Finn connects. He can just go through this top click. Ooh, here we go. Does Finn have a token? Um, it does. I think believe he was clear. Uh, the only, the the only thing that like Dave has going for him here is he does have a uh, reflexes. Yeah. But I think Undertaker is going to try to call in some. So what big. would what would be smart is if he can use Finn as a theme prop. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, because they, no, they he's mystical. They I was thinking it was WWE. My apologies. But that's one of the, th the tricks that they're doing with the WWE is the theme prop. But you we'll can't see do if, that here. But Finn might even have a token. But uh, either way, um, Tony has a green arrow. He's got... It depends if... He should be able to get the green arrow lined up pretty easily. But it depends on if uh, Unimine perplexed up. The defense. No, he did attack and damage. Attack and damage. Ooh. Okay, so he is naked. It's gonna be rough. So I have to slice it down. Go there. Mm -hmm. So we got the plasticity on you now. Well, same thing. <laughs> we both have plasticity. But so does he, so when I run next to you, it's double plasticity. What do you mean? It stacks. Therefore, you don't have plasticity. You don't have plasticity. Plasticity stacks? Yeah. Okay. Does he... You size up here? Oh, it's here? Oh, size so up. One, two, three, four. Right. Okay. There's not seeing the three. Before action. Then we'll go one. Two will go here. Mm -hmm. Six, seven. Mm -hmm. Get there then still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm still there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Carry my little buddy with me. Then we will side step. Try to my little buddy here. Mm -hmm. So that's two tokens from right? mm -hmm. we, He will then side step. Then he'll place Taker there. Nope, he moved. That's why he has a token under him. Um, clear. And then, uh, you know, we'll just destroy that because I can't. So Tony has matched David's move and uh, moved up and based him. He's now surrounded by Finn, the Tricentinal, Alex, and the Undertaker. Um, which gives you and I now the chance to attack. Well, I mean, oh, I have to say the name. I'm not going to break it. It's a free action to, to break it, that's why. So, okay. 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 So if you're curious as to why the Tri-Sentinel broke that, is he activated the free Colossal Retaliation, and without a target, um, there's nothing to Colossal Retaliate, but the second part of the power after resolutions is to destroy all blocking. So that's why it, uh, it's a wide destroys guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's four, five, or six. 
don't have a major problem. Choose on fist mm -hmm. and prod. Mm -hmm. Choose flurry with the star box. Okay. Uh, we'll drop PC. Mm -hmm. I think there's uh, 18. Mm -hmm. We will plus two to attack, mm -hmm. plus two to damage. Mm -hmm. He, he picked Flurry. So David went and picked Flurry, he picked Prob, and the Fist Power from Ion. So the Flurry comes from uh, Star Fox's Blue Flames, and then the uh, Prob and the Fist Power come from Ion. Uh, what, what, did he, what did he pick with Ion? Uh, Prob and the Fist Power. Prob and the Fist Power, okay. Yeah, that's that. damage. Okay. Yeah. Here first. Yeah. Looks like Tony rolled another shape change. Gonna roll here. Ooh, almost. They wanted to be 13 to 18? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if that counts. I don't know how they want it. It's up to you guys. Oh, yeah, I don't give a fuck then. Sure, why not? You're going to hit it anyways. You got 13 tech. Uh, next one here. Now, if you quit miss this one, then that counts for him. Uh, okay. And the tricycle yeah. goes down. All right, cool. He's on your team. There you go. You're welcome. Can you pick the power point, please? Yeah, sure. You can have outwit and uh, pop. Okay. You're welcome. That's very nice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> So now it's a green bow, but a die skipped out. It's exciting. Okay. So I step to. Mm. Oh, they can't be outwitted. That's where you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll just sidestep to here. Sure. My turn, we scroll for uh, four first. No? Okay, go ahead. Alrighty. Yeah. Call a green arrow. Cool. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and try to roll for what was in slot number three. Oh, didn't get it. Uh, it's here. Oh, yeah. huh? What do you mean slot number three? Slot number three is here. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. slot number three. That was. Try to die. It goes back on too. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. Well, let's crank it up. One. All right. We'll put text on his defense. Go ahead. All right. It's going to be a 12 on a 17. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. Rob. That's a hit. All right. Three. Yep. Fist and continue defense, so force blast. Okay. Um, can I see in my card? Mm hmm. Just don't look at the back. That's exactly where I wanted it. I want, I want everyone to laugh on it. No, it's okay. It <laughs> didn't work. All right. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a dad joke. I'm sorry. Right. 11 on a 16, Finn Bauer. And that will hit. 
for three straight through. Mine. Oh, he's gonna be mine. I'm gonna submission hold until he quits and joins my team again. I roll fake things on you. No, submission hold is just free damage. Oh, nice. Exactly, that's why he's on my team again. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah absolutely. Okay. Uh, we will go ahead and submission hold him. Can't do that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so it's a poison, essentially. So he has to click. Yeah. <laughs> and they're both immobile. He can't be moved, placed, anything. Okay. There's your go. Alright. So. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so. This doesn't score at all until the end, end right? Because he didn't really die. I, I don't care. I really don't care. Um, One storm more. Okay. Can you read the card? Just make sure. Alright, fine. I'm chilling. All right, all right. Um, roll for Pandora because why not? One. It's not yours. You are correct on that because he hasn't been KO'd. Sidestep here. Mm -hmm. Sidestep. Side oh, it doesn't look like you're coming. <laughs> Try to make a good level at least. Sidestep to there. Sidestep here. Yeah, and everyone's gonna clear. Um, he's actually gonna drop his um, cosmic, uh -huh. and we'll go plus two to his defense. Okay. And then we'll roll for Flora now. All right. And, then, and she heals too. All right. Side step. Go ahead. Then. All right. Let's uh, this way. Let's outwit Flora's charge with Taker. Sounds good. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not enough. The roll of 4 it goes to 14. Um, alright. Yo, mm -hmm. Coup de gras. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It will burn here. And Coup de gras is flanking. Yeah. So I ignore green. Mm -hmm. Uh, need six. Mm -hmm. Woo hoo! Crit miss. Um, we will roll for sidestep. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Yeah, it bounced out. Yeah. Um, so agreed earlier that when it bounced out, that. We I mean, I still got in with that plasticity. Yes. So, yeah. either which way. I just mm -hmm. say you didn't need to do both. Um, that's it, you go. Alright. Oh. Okay. No storm's coming, so let's do this. Let's roll for Pandora's first. Mm -hmm. Prob. Mm -hmm. And just for line of sight purposes, those issues with that there. Looks there. good to me, sure. Hey, I think it. I'll make sure, dude. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, that costs some people the game. So, one 
his ability. He gets the plus two. Use it for flex, okay. So no power. Here. Mm -hmm. Bring out the uh, arrow. Mm -hmm. We're gonna drop PC. Mm -hmm. Bump them up to a four uh, four damage. Okay. Bump them up to our uh, RCE. Right. Uh, to a six. And just to be clear, you're perplexing and then using. Right. Yeah. Yes. Correct. So twelve onto eighteen. <sighs> All right. That's fine. Oh man, I am. Alright. Yeah, I messed up on that one. Alright, that's just, um. Damn. I'm on stream too for that. <laughs> 10 on 18. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, got it. You do three, so I take one. And then Mystic's back at you for one more. Everybody. Cool. Good game, man. You know you could have attacked Finn Balor and killed Finn Balor, right? Yeah. yeah. You would have one-shot him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I thought you were going to What do you? Did it? Yeah. It's not like, I'm going to like whoever wins. Congratulations <laughs> to Tony Rodriguez. He doesn't have Ronda Rousey. No, because I would have had Ronda Rousey on the yeah. team in WWE. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought that's what you were going to do. Dude, I, got like, oh, and I, was like, I got excited when he...
action. <laughs> Alright guys, we are back. Yes, with our host Mike. Ooh, that was a... Uh, I was upset. Almost. Yeah, well... You well, know the whole day. Yeah. yeah, I mean look, he went all the way. It was the 8th seed. Yeah, so he going beat Rob 5-0. Uh, yeah, he, he, he went through the toughest match. Basically, because he had to go through Matt, he had to go through Rob, and he had to go, you know, yeah. Dave Unimine. Uh, he played it. He played it really well. It's you know, it's a really good metagame call for the the format because it's a lot of range stuff. It is. Like if you look at Matt playing Juggernaut, it's also a, good against range. Um, but I, I think everybody out there was like, oh, he could kill Finn Balor in in yeah. one. Ch- I I I totally missed it because I was out there. Uh, but yeah. apparently, did you see that in here? That he like, crit missed. That yeah, so that he could have killed him, killed him with yeah. Green Arrow, but would that have made a difference? Because doesn't he still call Storm and just he kill still would have called Storm and killed everyone? So he would have got more points, but at the end, it, it unless he could stop the Storm calling, yeah, he can't right because there's nothing he can it's, do. It's a uh, Undertaker because Undertaker has the stop click halfway through the dial, yeah. a little past halfway, and yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think he had enough to one shot Taker. Yeah, no, especially with the the stop click. Yeah. Um, well, the green arrow would have went through it. Well, can he? Can he I believe see it. him? Was oh, it? yeah, no, because he was still on top click. Yeah. So, yeah, there's nothing, not much he could do. So, WWE is a real it's a real threat in this format. Finn Balor. Yes. Finn Balor with Sniper. Um, and then if you don't have a plan for a team where you can't see, mm-hmm. kind of, because it, we're kind of seeing that now. Undertaker and that, and and just people playing around walls. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a plan for that, uh, you will have a hard time. Yeah. In in this in, in the current uh, meta game because it, it's evolving, right? Because like a lot of people are playing range, so people are adapting to playing yeah. range by playing anti range. Yeah, because like well, one of the things I know we've talked about in the past is the hand ATA. Yeah. Which means that's, so yep, that's another one that may be a, a direction the format yeah. is going for um, next season or but so. We uh. You know, it's it's weird. We we picked. We both picked Rob. Yeah, we did. And then the the number eight seed Tony. And you know, but who was right? Yeah, Craig was right. Yeah, Craig Craig the head judge had picked Tony <laughs> he uh, did. Uh, last night to go the whole way. He, and did. he was right. And uh, and you know, eight. We picked. We had basically discussed everyone. Yeah. But him. In the matchups. Yeah. Uh, so he's you know, hey, you could. You could flex a little. You could puff, you could puff your chest out. Yeah, you know, that's. But yeah, Tony, that, that's, Tony you know, was, like, was you know, undoubtedly you know the underdog going. You know into what this. it is? It's it's you prove people wrong. Yes. And you know that it gives you the extra motivation, and, and that's what he did. So you know he he was kind of like a, uh, venting or voicing his uh, I guess frustration or or what whatever. Yeah, about not being feelings here. about you know, but uh, you know if you look at it from a. Uh, uh, Numbers. Uh, uh, or if you put it from a logical standpoint, uh, we knew the guys that we picked. We know what they're playing. Yeah, that's true. Like they're they planned on playing the yeah. same thing. They're so consistent. and we don't and and he's <coughs> the one that always plays something different. And up until the night before, he said he was between two or three teams. Yes. So and and we know that already. So. And he's that type of player who says yeah, so he, he's not going to practice with it, the team. Exactly. So you know you, you get all of that. You know, you, you're you're presentable all that information as as a, as a, a pundit or someone who's supposed to make a logical choice. Are we supposed to? Yeah. Still pick when someone says that. And also, on top of that, he had played a couple of fun teams in uh, the trials. In the trials, he played and, at a lot of different trials, and and was really frustrated at, at the teams he's playing, mm-hmm. and you know, having the uh, the fiery temper that he has, it, it does mess up with. You know that you're not only your confidence, but like your game and uh, how you play. Mm-hmm. So then, if someone doesn't, you know, you can't really, uh, yeah, you fault can't. someone for not picking if uh, yeah, all those. No, in. But course. you know, he proved that he, he, he proved, proved us wrong. Yeah. He yeah. proved basically everybody. I think the only person that picked him to win was uh, Craig. Craig, yeah. Even his closest buddy Steve picked Rob. That's true. <laughs> so. And I mean, you know, hey, you know. yeah, like I said, he was an underdog the whole way yeah. um, with the three and two with yeah, a lot congrats. of points. And uh, yeah, dude, definitely with, congrats. And, and it's it's a really cool team that's like has a different, uh, 
different feeling about it because yeah. it's it's basically a close combat team without it's a close combat team but it it's like a range close combat team it is that makes sense yeah, because they're closing you from ten squares away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's it's very effective at what it does. He can get up without being shot down. Yeah. Um, so he's got a lot of protection to be able to get up to where he needs to be. Um, and the team's versatile, as it showed. It it took down a yeah. lot of different teams I mean, this weekend. Jeez. You know what what what's really scary about that is uh, Undertaker with that stop click. Mm-hmm. If you can hit him, he gets a stop click. You got to deal with him again. Yeah. You know, and then he's gonna submission hold you. He's gonna call in someone to hit you, flurry, whatever. So then you, you just kind of want to ignore him. You want to go to Finn, exactly. And then like, let's say you do end up hitting him, then the Sentinel comes over and does what he does. Yeah, or Undertaker's calling someone in because you're focused on Finn. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that's um now it's the the co-main event starting. Um, it's it's the uh, modern, but we're not really gonna do. It's it's you know there's only six players, so they're yeah. We're really just letting them. We're gonna wrap around. up, and uh, but, so yeah. yeah. Hopefully, we have trials coming up. Yeah, we have trials. We have the first one already set. Yes, uh, first one's officially set for January eleventh uh, at Gone Guy Games mm-hmm. in Oregon. So that'll be fun, and then I'll have mine scheduled by Monday when we do our podcast. Yeah, and then we'll probably figure it out sooner than later. Yeah, it will. It's a good thing that you you know you, you're far enough so that we can uh, schedule on the same day if we need to. Yeah, that'll be because good. And we're know, not going to pull are, from each yeah, other. You know, it is like six if, hours. If away. somebody wants to drive six hours to my store, I will appreciate <laughs> it very much. <laughs> but that seems silly. But yeah, so they, yeah, they got they got all the map, they got the new maps. Yeah, and uh, that will be legal in March. Yeah, March seventh, it will be legal for the one. Yeah, and we will be unveiling the new map then, as well. Indiana Jones. Yeah, so Indiana. it should be. Or oh, sorry, it's not that. Oh, yeah, it's not. It's, it's uh, the Temple of the Warrior Idol. It's like the uh, the leathered wearing uh, adventure with a cool hat yeah. and a whip. Well, the map is called Temple of the Warrior Idol. So you guys use your imagination. Think about <laughs> what you guys might see. Uh, the preview that I saw looked amazing. I'm very so. excited. Yeah, it's basically done. Yeah. So. Get them all right. Well, out. I mean, that's that's basically it. We had a good, we had good a great turnout. weekend. Yeah. Thirty-one um, players. Really good. Uh, like the in, the intensity and the uh, competitive level is high. You can feel it out there. Yeah. When it, so that that's good. It's it's a good feeling of like, it doesn't feel like a uh, like a casual event. It actually feels no. like a big thing. You know. Yeah, and I kept hearing people say, "Man, the level of playing field here is significantly yeah. higher than other yeah. events they go to," yeah. and uh, you gotta be on your A game. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, I guess until the next... Oh, until Monday. Until Monday, yeah. yeah. See you guys next time. Take it easy. Don't forget to practice all your dice, guys.